Let us recap day eight of the Melody Ferris trial. If you don't know already, Melody Ferris is on trial for the murder of her husband, Gary Ferris. Today started off with a technology specialist. The specialist walked us through the data that came from Gary's laptop and his CPAP machine. He basically said that the laptop was last used around 3 p.m. on July 3rd and the CPAP machine was last used around 7 a.m. on July 3rd. Now, why this is important is because the police couldn't establish an exact day that Gary passed away because there was really no body left to do any kind of testing. It was just bones and muscle and very little soft tissue left. So that's why they said that he possibly died between July 3rd and July 4th. And then his body was found in the burn pile on July 5th. The next person up was a specialist, an anthropologist who studies bones after being burned. And she basically stated that the positioning of his bones and his skull when they found it was he was face down. So he was in the burn pile face down. She said that his face didn't take too much trauma because it was face down and probably being padded with the other things that were in that burn pile. And he had more damage to the back of the skull because it was severely burned. One of Melody's former neighbors, uh, one of the ladies that she walked with a lot, came and testified. She basically said that they grew apart because she moved away from the neighborhood. She moved to a whole nother state. But when they were friends, Melody did talk about her marriage, how she was unhappy, how Gary took away her finances and basically cut her off from everything. So she mentioned one time that Melody sent her debit card to this woman while she was in Minnesota. She sent her a debit card and said, hey, can you go and purchase something? I know Gary watches my purchases and locations and she was in Jamaica at that time with Rusty. And she wanted to throw Gary off because she said that she was with this friend, the lady, and she was not. Apparently, she was having a good old time in Jamaica with Rusty. Then the star witness who I've been waiting for in particular was Rusty. Rusty got on the stand. He said that him and Melanie knew each other since she was 15 in the 70s. And so they knew each other. They kind of went their own ways, married different people. And they ended up coming back together in the uh, 2000s. And um, they were having an affair together. And he said that Melody would come visit him here and there. Sometimes he didn't know she was in town, but he lived in Tennessee while she lived in Georgia. And so she would travel over to Tennessee on occasion to visit with him. And, you know, they ended up being in a close relationship. At times I felt like he was downplaying uh, their relationship as if she was just a come and go friend you know, just a sexual friend. He didn't come out and say it that way, but it sounded like that. But they also said, well, you guys at some point were talking about um, Gary having throat cancer and Melody said how he may die in a few years and that you guys uh, would plan marriage or strengthen this relationship six months after he passes away or something to that nature. It was very weird. But again, he was downplaying everything as if it wasn't already in text messages. Because Rusty lived in Tennessee, the Georgia Bureau of Investigations contacted the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations to have them go and talk to Rusty um, because they wanted to hear what he had to say and basically what his alibi was. So they went and talked to Rusty's mother. They also talked to Rusty and... They said he was a little standoffish, a little arrogant at first, but then he started to talk and open up to them. And then um, he ended up lawyering up after that. And he wanted to speak more once he got a lawyer. And this is what he told his lawyer and the police. She said, Gary is in the burn pile. No, she said, he is in the burn pile. And I said, what? And she said, he's in the burn pile. And I said, do not say another word and do not tell me anything. I do not need to know. Also mentioned that he had bought Melody a burner phone because 
who knows. He also got her a credit card because he said he felt bad for her because Gary was taking the finances away from her. Gee, I wonder why. She was spending money. She was spending money. She was a stay-at-home wife. The kids are already grown and out of the house except for Scott, but she was just spending money up. And Gary wanted to bring that to a halt. Also, she was having a marital affair outside the home. So why not clean up her access to money? So at the end of day eight, prosecution was still questioning Rusty. So on day nine tomorrow, that will continue. And then I can't wait for the cross-examination to begin. Because Rusty said he and Melanie were still friends after Gary's death. But as of today, they are no longer together. So we shall hear more with the cross-examination. Let me know what you guys think.